Wow Friday. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines of the info war. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Hard to believe it's already Friday, the 23rd day of June 2017, and all hell is breaking loose. The Democrats have lost a fourth consecutive special election. They consecutively broke all previous records in each one of the four failed special elections since President Trump was sworn in on January 20th, 2017. And 17, the day the power began to transfer from Washington and from globalist combines offshore back to we the people. And he's been delivering in royal spades. And the globalists who've hijacked our country, hijacked Europe, hijacked Latin America, hijacked Africa, hijacked Eastern Europe, hijacked Russia, hijacked the Middle East are in total, complete, absolute freak-out mode. They burned through 35 million on the special elections, and that was just the party, not just their PACs. Unbelievable. And so how do they respond, being spoiled brat, wannabe elitist, who are part of a cult of power, who believe that they're sitting on top of the bitter clingers and that they control you know, the Christians and the patriots, and I guess they do. They have our children in their clutches, they brainwash them, they force inoculate them, but the sleeping giant is awakening to what they're doing. So they're trying to cling on to the host. The parasites are in a desperate, insane panic. Do they back off? No. Johnny Depp, a meth head, $600 million that he made the last 20 years, lost it all. Looks like, uh, again, some meth mouth guy, some kind of homeless person you see on the side of the street. He comes out like he's a big, tough man. He can hardly stand up with some other waterhead. And they stand up there and talk about how they dream about killing the president. Oh, how original by another spoiled, rotten piece of filth that if you don't like America, you should move to North Korea. In fact, Paul Watson has a video we're going to play coming up. The dubbest liberal ever. And the woman says she wants more Muslims. They're not a threat. She says white men are. Some addled, spoiled, uh, pension fund, government funded, college paid for, scholarship, whining idiot. I am going to offer this moron first class tickets, first class tickets and 20,000 pounds to move for one year to Libya. Or to Syria, I'm sorry, those are total war zones, thanks to you people, helping put the radical jihadis in. How about Saudi Arabia? I'm offering you 20,000 pounds, that's $35,000, $30,000, and I'm offering you first class one-way tickets to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, baby. You go there, you run your mouth, you show your face in public, they'll cane you, and next they'll kill you. The headline will be, Jones wishes Muslims to kill a poor woman. That's how they spent it when J-Lo was like, bring in more Muslims or you know, any of these globalist minions. And I go, hey, why don't you go move there then? Oh, oh, no, we're not going to do that. And the media spins that I hope they go to the Middle East and get raped. No, I hope you don't bring that here because I've got three daughters and a son and I don't like it. I don't want to bring North Korea here. Hell, they're trying to transplant whole Syrian towns of invaders that came in and took over into Germany right now. They've already brought 10 million in. I'm sorry, I kept seeing 5 million in the last couple of years and 7 million total the last uh, eight years. No, it's 10 million. Everybody's heard about Islamic scourge. We're going to go to break, come back with Johnny Depp, all of it today. I am wound up. And I'm in my InfoWars uniform today. I'm not wearing the sports jacket and the button-up shirt because I need to be able to get wound up proper here today. Old Tuck Buckford's wound up today, everybody. So get ready because this is the InfoWar. We're going in, through, and beyond. Spread the word. Spread the links. The live feeds on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, your local stations. Spread the word. It's an act of resistance against the dirtbag globalists that know they're hanging on by their fingernails. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday, the 23rd day of June 2017. And everybody knows 
I don't put a good face on things unless really good things are happening. And that is happening right now. The air is electrical with political change across the globe, not just here, but the United States. We've seen four special elections with the Democrats spending more money than they've ever spent in any other elections. And they lost despite the mainstream media demonization, the dirty tricks, the illegals voting, people voting with, uh, under dead people's identities. It's all been confirmed. 5.7 million voting illegally. All of it confirmed now coming out in the last election, but still they lost despite the fake polls, despite giving uh, the debate questions weeks before to Hillary to try to rig it, despite having the moderators go after Trump where it'd be three to one. Trump called it out and said, it's three to one, but still I'm winning. And it's that same attitude, ladies and gentlemen, that we've all got to have. Forget the Super Bowl, forget NBA basketball. This is the real game of life for the future of America and the world. Freedom versus slavery. This is such an amazing time to be alive. This is going to be a powerful transmission today. Just look at these headlines. MSNBC's Brzezinski, Trump is developing a dictatorship, must be stopped. MSNBC analyst compares Trump to a suicide bomber. And of course, another MSNBC host and analyst called for ISIS to hit Trump properties like Trump Tower. So everything they say about Trump, they are. They're trying to overthrow the election and set up a dictatorship of the bureaucracy and the deep state. Connecticut campus shut as professor flees following let them effing die tweet directing students to begin killing right wingers and Trump supporters and all bigots saying smile a bit as you kill them and as you murder them. More and more campuses are just totally having to shut because of mass total mental illness. Unbelievable. These are re-education camps, but they've been contained. They're designed to be culture bombs. They're designed to be social disruptor systems. That's all declassified. But if you contain them, if you contain the weapon system and it can't replicate, it degrades and implodes on itself. And they're going through a degrade implosion right now. We're having devastating victories devastating. We're devastating the enemy worldwide. They may set off a nuke in D.C. They may release a bioweapon, though. Soros and the globalists are very wicked. Do not underestimate them. But even if that happens, the survivors will dig them out of their bunkers. We will dig you out of your bunkers, no matter where you go, globalists, even if you release the bioweapon. We're fully aware of your plans. Continuing, ladies and gentlemen, the military is fully aware of your operations. You're all right now in the sights, and you know it, don't you, globalist? Yeah, this is a two-way street, baby, and you've now shown yourself. Just keep showing yourself. Keep burning yourself down. That's all coming up. But let me put the cherry on top before I get to this key report that Darren McBrain put together. Johnny Depp is a drug addict meth head that looks like a child molester you'd see on the side of the road, okay? I'm not saying he's a child molester, he just looks like one. Johnny Depp is a talentless joke trying to act cool. Hey, Stevie Ray Vaughan could play the guitar great and had that style in the 80s. He was cool. You look like just a joke stumbling around. $600 million you made. You lost it all. You've got some other old geezer, liberal, wannabe trendy. I mean, I used to not like Hollywood. I can't look at it. I can't listen to it. I can hardly put up with, with, with any of it anymore. It is just so anti-human, so elitist, so drugged out, so brainwashed, so filthy rich, while it's bitching about Trump trying to cut taxes for the middle class and trying to get jobs back for factory workers. Uh, it's just sick. And, and I saw it this morning and couldn't find good audio of it because he's mumbling so bad. And then he just sits there like he's such a genius when he says he dreams of killing Trump, of assassinating Trump, like he's the greatest genius ever. And then you see a bunch of... You just moronic, mind-numbed, zombie-looking twit fans when he says it, just hold on every word like God had just said something. No, a meth head, loser, joke, punk jumped on the whole bandwagon of other harpies and sea hags uh, like Madonna and everybody else saying, kill, 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 kill Trump, kill his supporters, kill America, kill Christians, kill flyover country, bring in the radical Muslims, have women wear hijabs. We're allied with anything that hates Christendom and hates Western civilization and hates freedom. But here's the good news. All over Africa, all over Latin America, people are rejecting globalism and they're rejecting it here. People want prosperity.
They want freedom. They want families. They want true diversity. They want true open societies, but not bullying brainwash facilities. We share everywhere. So Johnny Depp is such a pathetic. I'm not just saying that. You know it. Just a, just a doddering drugged out with meth mouth he can barely talk look like carrie fisher feel sorry for her you know she was a drug addict admittedly but at least she wasn't a hateful person politically uh depp is this drugged out shrivel brained uh looks like a child molester you'd see on, again driving around in a creeper van and he's up there dreaming of can actors kill presidents or have, a oh, but I'm not an actor making a little joke trying to invoke murder and death. Hey, Johnny Depp, can somebody find out where you're at sometime and walk up and pump a bunch of bullets into your sorry ass? Because I don't want that to happen. I don't walk around in people's yards trying to find dog crap to step in. But you know, if dogs keep laying it down in front of us, we're going to step on some of you by accident, you jerk. I mean, you, you think you're playing games here, boy? You and you Hollywood scum, bunch of wannabe gangsters, you've taken America's kindness and openness to crap all over it. And that time's coming to an end. So to you and all the Hollywood gangsters and all of you, and I know who you are by name, you better watch your ass because we're going to kick your ass politically just like 1776. You keep running your mouth and starting a violent war that you're beating the drums for. You know what's going to happen to you. Let's play Johnny Slimeball Depp. I think he needs help. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of wonderful dark, dark places he could go. A lot of Doc Martens. In the, uh... It's just a question. I'm not insinuating anything. By the way, this is going to be in the press. It'll be horrible. It'll be horrible. But I'd like, I like that you're all a part of it. When was the last time... An actor assassinated a president. When was the last time somebody killed an actor for running their mouth? I mean, seriously. Now, I want to I, I, I clarify, I'm not an actor. <laughs> I lie for a living. That's right, you do, you piece of filth. All right, turn him off. Darren McBrain did an incredibly powerful piece on the deep state that I'm going to premiere at the bottom of the hour. But if you look at all of this, I mean, these people are on every channel there is, beating the drum incessantly to kill Trump, kill his family, kidnap his wife, rape her. And Bow Wow had the sense to come out and apologize. And Snoop Dogg has had the decency to shut his mouth because here's the deal. You got your free speech, but you keep calling for killing people. And Trump supporters are getting shot and stabbed all over the place. Congressman got shot was fighting for his life until just two days ago and has had a bunch of surgeries. And you people are so evil, you go out and, 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 and demonstrate and, and boo and hiss when people call for his recovery. That's who you are. And you're running your mouths. You live in the lap of luxury. You run around acting tough and cool all day. And you have no idea, no idea, no idea that goes for David Brock and all the rest of these people about all, uh, we're aware of their operations. We're aware of their productions. We're aware of all the different things they're up to. And uh, the, now the doctors, the scientists, the, the engineers, the surgeons have, have got their scalpels and their sutures and their instruments out. And they're just deciding right now over the patient how much has to get cut out. And can the patient even live? But I will assure you in that process of that delicate surgery that you're going to get everything your evil little butts ever wanted. And I take no pleasure in that. I think it's pretty clear you're going to start a civil war. In fact, I think it's clear we've eased into one. And that's how a lot of wars and a lot of civil wars start is you never really have a demarcation line. You don't have a shot heard around the world like we had in 1775. You just kind of slip into the lawlessness. And you guys are sowing the wind. And you know what happens then. You sow the wind. You reap the whirlwind. And most of you can hardly talk. You can hardly walk. Uh, it's, it's like I was watching this morning. Uh, I saw a clip of The Wall, the music video from... Pink Floyd, and it shows the kids going into the school normal, and they come out as little zombies, and they're just fed into a meat grinder. So first they dehumanize you, then they feed you into a meat grinder. And, and that's exactly how all of this works. And so 
you're now calling it a civil war. You're saying you want an insurrection. You're saying you want to hunt Trump supporters. Uh, you're saying you want to bomb things. Uh, you, you, uh, you're saying Trump's a dictator, but you've got your elite publications calling for his overthrow and how they're going to have new elections run by Obama's old homeland security. And now you're going to take our guns and you're going to shut the press off once and for all. And you're going to start with Alex Jones. Good luck. Really, good luck with all of that, fools. The minute you try to actually shut us down completely, you take us from powerful to incredibly powerful. You turn us into martyrs. You take us to the next level. You can't win, to quote episode four of Star Wars. You strike us down, we become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. That's history. That's art imitating life, not life imitating art. That's the truth. We have the upper hand as long as we're moral, as long as we're focused, as long as we have courage, and as long as we don't back down to you people, you're going to lose. It's not like Korea, where you set up a dictatorship where people never had freedom for thousands of years, and we're a hermitage-controlled uh, vice system uh, of China under vassal control. It's not like you're coming out of the Orthodox Christian and then the czars and the, some of the oppressions in Russia into something even worse. The whole world's coming out of globalism. The Renaissance is spreading. And this is only the birth pains of that. But that's that Renaissance is humanity getting its feet on the ground before we face the AI and the Antichrist. So all this stuff you see is just testing. I'm Alex Jones, your host. I'm going to get into the big deep state news, more on Johnny Depp, what's happening in the economy, the Democrats going to full panic mode the next segment. But right now... Look at the type of articles they're just handing me in real time. This is out of Medusa Magazine, which is a feminist magazine. Uh, that's not a joke. Beyond pro-choice, the solution to white supremacy is white abortion. And it says, if you get pregnant with a white man, abort it and adopt a black baby. Whites are inherently evil. People think, oh, this is just some French thing. This is taught at every major college in America. This is the operating system by white professors mainly. And then you get a professor like Weinstein at Evergreen, who's a biology professor, and says, look, I'm a big liberal, but you can't ban whites you know, f uh, from the school for a day. If you want to walk off campus, that's one thing. You can't ban, that's racism. And that now they want him basically dead. The college is shut down. And Joe Rogan says, why, are, why is the left attacking itself? Because it's a weapon system. We have all the white papers. We have all the documents. Uh, we've gone over them at nauseum here. This is a planned program. It's working. It's standardized. It's not just at Evergreen. It's everywhere. And then this, News Roundup. Obama says Senate health care bill has meanness at its core. Even though it's got too much spending and too much largesse and it'll bankrupt us, it's not as bad as Obamacare. <sighs> they, we, we are being driven towards collapse by design because the globalists are tax exempt offshore and want to consolidate that's their system it's worse the lion of london bridge the hero that fought off the three men that had already stabbed to death a bunch of people he decided to fight one man they stabbed him what was like 14 times in the neck all over he said f you this is london i guess there's one man left he is homeless while migrants secure luxury housing. That's right. The Muslims, the new thing is to burn down their, their government issued uh, high rises, like four or five that burned down. And then the left was waiting. Then they go and they are reconnoitering. They are basically stealing. They are grabbing. They are taking control of, confiscating people's private homes, saying, oh, well, you have two houses, so you don't need this flat. We're going to put migrants in it, just like they've done in Germany, just like they've done in Italy. We have the videos of a little inn owner, 80-something years old, with 20 rooms on the sea in Italy, and they go, here's the African migrants that just landed. He kicks the guy's guest out. He's crying. They go, you're not going to be compensated. They live here now. It's about seeing how much they can rub your nose in it. Polish MP, school's BBC host on refugees. How many terror attacks have you had in London? Hundreds and hundreds. They've had none in Poland. That's all coming up, and I'm going to play this powerful 
piece that deals with how they're trying to start a civil war and how we're already entered one. Mark your calendars with Congressman Scalise getting shot a week and a half ago. In fact, what date was that, please, folks? Look that up for me. Because I was really thinking about this this morning and last night. That's when the civil war went from a cold civil war, a culture war, a bullying war, a leftist temper tantrum, stabbing, shooting, killing, burning a few people, to targeting Congress. And then the media, Wolf Blitzer and others, and, 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 and Democrat operative saying hunt republicans too bad this wasn't more coordinated this is when they fully bought into it because you can go back you know three years ago two years ago the case for rioting newsweek you can find all those articles but now it's official they've decided they're going to put their boots on they're going to load up their firearms their clips and they're going to march out and start killing people all i'm going to say is what colonel jackson said don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes Quite frankly, we can just hold and keep letting them kill us. I'm sorry for those of you killed. And don't respond offensively. We're winning the info war with us right now. In fact, if I was a globalist, I would have already staged some false flags. They just know law enforcement and others are pretty much on our side and are watching every move. So it's hard for the globalists to run false flags now. So Scalise was shot June 14th. I'd say that's the shot heard around the world. I mean... You could argue we were already in a civil war before that, and they're calling for violence and killing the president and his family and every major publication and for overthrowing the government and arresting me, and we're all Russian agents. Anybody that stands up for America, <laughs> yeah, Russian agents. <laughs> yeah, right. They're the globalist agents, and they know it. But June 14th, Nebraska Democratic official ousted for allegedly wishing Steve Calise to die. USA Today. They are fawning. They are frothing. They are foaming. Trump two days ago said, Congressman Scalise, our prayers go to him and the police officers and others that were shot. Boo! No! We'll, no, we'll be dying! Ah! Tell you, it's sick. We're going to be right back with this incredibly powerful piece that Darren McBreen has put together. I'm Alex Jones. Please stay with us. The Twilight Zone that is authoritarianism, the wicked altar that so many have worshipped at throughout history, it always behaves the same, it always acts the same. It's not based on creativity or open society and freedom. It's based on tyranny and oppression and death. And now that very system is here masquerading as liberalism, masquerading as the arts, masquerading when it's a weapon system. Johnny Depp from Kentucky, posing like he's British in every major movie he's in, with a fake accent in England, running down our president and hoping he dies. And if somebody kills Johnny Depp, which I hope doesn't happen, or one of these other Hollywood turds, the media won't ever point out that they called for violence. Or Wolf Blitzer has a guest on, says, oh, I knew the guy that did this. He wasn't evil. He was just upset about politics. He was a nice guy. Wolf Blitzer took it like it was a... Statement he agreed with, cut to his panel, and all over the news, from the Washington Post, the New York Times, to the Huffington Post, they're out there hoping the president dies and saying, you know, too bad, this was so uncoordinated, and he didn't know how to use the firearm properly. Too bad he can only, you know, shoot two cops and almost kill them and almost kill the congressman and almost kill another person. You know, too bad. Johnny Depp, what a drugged out, fried brain idiot. Let's run that clip one more time of somebody that wants to run his mouth and just, you know, because the word's gone out, call for violence, call for violence, start the civil war, start the civil war. If there's a real hot civil war, which we're sliding into, bro, we're already in one. We're sliding down. I will assure you, you're going to be held responsible and your publicist and others that have pushed you to do this. You're trying to organize massive bloodshed and killing and crimes, and you're using your platform to do it, and you will be held accountable. I love how I cover the New York Times, the Washington Post, CNN, when there's all these Podesta emails about wiener and child porn, you know, wiener and, and, and trying to procure young girls, teenagers. We break that. Eric Prince breaks it. Breitbart breaks it. All in the same 24 hours. We get no credit. Then the media focuses on a pizza place that does have Podesta and others going to it. 
They make it all about the pizza place, the code words, the, you know, the FBI, cheese pizza, child porn that's used worldwide. They focus on that as a honeypot, as a decoy. And then the news says, oh, Jones, he, he made a guy that had been his listener. Go in there and, and do it. Alex told him to go be violent, which I never said. But see, I'm guilty of some guy going and supposedly shooting a hole in the roof that, that, that witnesses that were there that I interviewed said they didn't hear a gunshot, they didn't see it happen. But the D.C. police, the same ones that, you know, let crowds of folks attack Trump supporters at the inauguration and the, and the D.C. police involved in, in all the stuff we've seen, they say it happened. And then a guy who was an actor on an already felony plea deal in another state comes and, and this happens at the pizza place and it's all my fault um, almost a month after I said drop the story it's a decoy before the press ever targeted me and ever said I was the author of it but I figured out they were going to do it and that what was being reported by the press wasn't accurate we pulled back on it so we become the authors of it we become who's behind it we become the devil that wants violence when we're the ones saying never be violent offensively Treat the second amendment with great respect as you do the first. We're not the ones running around saying kill everybody. We're not the ones saying bomb Trump Tower like MSNBC is. We're not the ones saying he's a suicide bomber at the same time. We're not the ones saying Trump's a dictator. We're not the ones saying kill, 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 kill this person, kill that person. But what's Johnny Depp going to do? If somebody who isn't an actor like him, somebody who doesn't just talk, kills him. They're going to turn it into how the horrible right wing did this and that. They're eliciting their fans getting killed, their minions, their zombies, that they're out there on these huge platforms saying, do the right thing. Go kill Trump or kill his supporters. Hey, white boy, get ready to be shanked. You're wearing a Trump hat. It's political intimidation, and it's not working for them. So what are they going to do next? They're going to get more hysterical, and they're going to push more and more. And almost all of them, like Mika Brzezinski and everybody, have never gotten their feet wet. They've never gotten their hands dirty. Now, Scarborough, <laughs> a little bit different there. He's got his little hands dirty a couple times. He's a good old boy right there. Little pumpkin head. It's like Mars attacks. You know, aliens wearing a wig because the head's really so big. It's really a gray alien from Mars. I think Scarborough might be one. I'm joking, but he does have like a Martian head. I mean, good God! Imagine if he shaved that thing. He's 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 got a Martian head. But 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 getting back to the famous mass murderer's daughter, Brzezinski. She's saying Amika is saying uh, that that he's developing a dictatorship. No, we're removing the face-sucking cancer. We're removing you. So you, you sit there in your ivory tower with all your billions of dollars daddy got, and, and you sit up there just imagining you're in some existential war with the horrible coal miners and the horrible ranchers and, and the horrible policemen and the horrible air traffic controllers and the horrible mechanics and the horrible soldiers. And you just imagine how you're the hyper elite. You're the intellectual. You go to the white tie and black tie events. You perch up on top of us, and you're going to teach us culture, and you're going to make our children children grow up the way you want our kids to grow up, you're going to run our lives. Let me tell you something. Just like Starbucks called for the uh, Islamic invaders to all be given jobs and tries to turn their thing into political correctness situation, to, to sit there and re-educate everybody when they come to Starbucks, they have been precipitously, their stock dropping, their, their, their purchases dropping, their revenue dropping, something like 25% It's still going down. They're in total panic mode, removing executives and none of it's right in the ship. Starbucks pissed on too many people. And there was no official boycott ever launched. Everyone just said, you know what? I'm going to go out of my way not to drink Starbucks. I'm going to ask at a hotel. And if the coffee is Starbucks, I'm not going to drink it at breakfast. I will not. I go to hotels now, and if they've got Starbucks, I don't even have coffee. Or I'm asking now, when I book a hotel, do you have Starbucks? And most of them do. And I go, I'm not booking with your hotel. Click. And you know that gets put in the computer. It's war. They need us, not the other way around. They hate you. They hate your family. You understand that? And of course.
course, the CEO had to step down. That's an example. They always want to boycott us. They always want to bully us. They always want to get in our face. No. We're done. Now, before I play this powerful report, this boil down by Darren McBreen that we're also going to post on Infowars.com, I want to ask folks listening on AM and FM stations and people watching us on cable systems around the country and folks watching on the streams at Infowars.com forward slash show and folks watching us at PrisonPlanet.tv, the members of that that help pay it forward for everybody else. And they get all the documentary films and the rest of it. And people watching on Facebook and YouTube and on Twitter, on Periscope, share that link. Retweet that link. Tweet it at Globalist. Tweet it at Hillary. Tweet it at the UN. Tweet it at them. Fight their algorithms. Fight their propaganda. Human, human action will rip their arms out of their political sockets. Crush them. Roll over them. When you're sitting there at lunch or you're sitting there at night, doesn't matter when you do it, during a rebroadcast, when I'm live, when you're watching on YouTube later, send out the articles, send out the videos, send out the videos you think are the most important, send out the articles you think are the most informative. It's an info war. You are the power. Come together. Realize the globalists are desperate. They're losing. They know it. We're already gone into the beginnings of a civil war. We're trying to right the ship. We don't want it to get physical. But now is the time to intensify information warfare operations using our secret weapon, the truth, more than ever. So I salute you, and I thank you for your support, that you're supporting yourself here. So copy the link to Periscope, to Facebook Live, to YouTube, to Infowars.com forward slash show. However you're watching now, spread it. Physically call friends and family, neighbors. Physically put Infowars stickers on your car or others. Uh, you know, can put it at their business or wherever. Get aggressive. Realize we're turning the tide, but they want to bully us into submission so everybody shuts up about their views and rolls over to this authoritarian takeover. This is not the time to be bullied. This is the time to redouble because they're trying to bully. And the good news is they're losing and they're failing. And it's good to be able to say that. And it's because so many of you over the decades worked so hard to get the word out. Now, briefly, before I go to this video, for the July summer mega special is running. Help us defend free speech. Infowarstore.com. We have 30% off. That's a new special we're just launching the last few days. Super Mel Vitality, 30% off. Brain Force Nootropic. Brain Force Plus, amazing product. Super Mel Vitality. Survival Shield, the good halogen, 30% off. Z Shield to detoxify the body, 30% off. Amazing. The entire spectrum of My Patriot Supply, private label by us, is InfoWars Select, 30 to 40% off. That is so important to be self-sufficient. Amrix Essentials Outdoor Pack of the Sunscreen and the Bug Spray, amazing, 40% off. That is unprecedented. And you can get 10% off on all these items when you sign up for auto ship. InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or 888-253-3139. And check out one of my favorite t-shirts. This is what I wear in my private life. It's nice, soft fabric, Infowars.com over the heart. George Washington in a shield uh, on the right shoulder on the back. My free speech doesn't end when you're offended. This is my favorite shirt. This is what I personally wear when I'm out and about. It's a great way to meet like-minded people. If you go to liberal areas, you won't get attacked as much by the anti-free speech people wearing an Infowars shirt as a, as a Trump shirt. It depends on how offensive you want to be in their face, exercising the First Amendment. But you also fund the operation. So get the free speech shirt today at Infowarsstore.com. Now let's go ahead and go to this incredibly important report dealing with the deep state and how to combat it by Darren McBrain. Criminal elements inside the government, the deep state, are working with the media with fake news and fake leaks to try to undermine Trump's recovery. That's really the big news. A soft coup is underway right here in the United States of America in an attempt to overturn November's election results and forcibly remove a duly elected president from office. Sinister forces quickly aligning in what is becoming now in my mind, a clear and present danger. When you see uh, leaders on the left calling for essentially rising up for, and they uh, allow for Antifa to do all the violence that they do, and then you have the beheading of the president virtually by, by Kathy Griffith, and this play where the President Trump is killed, and you have a certain percentage of the population who's going to buy into that, who become completely desensitized, become completely radicalized, and act. A gunman opened fire on members of Congress and their staffs. In the hours after 
five people were shot, including the House Majority Whip, you sent out a tweet that said, hunt Republicans. I mean, it was clearly a reference to the assassination attempt against Congressman Scalise. It's hard to imagine how you could justify writing something like that. For too long, Republicans in this country have failed to distinguish the differences between politics and war. And a lot of Democrats have failed to see the similarities. So you guys either have to tone down the rhetoric or we have to step up. Ladies and gentlemen, we have so much proof of the Democrats saying overthrow Trump, use COG, kill him, kill his supporters, cancel the last election, remove the Republicans that were elected in the last 2016 election. I mean, I've got the mainstream articles here where they're pushing it. Here in America, we're at a turning point tonight with forces now forming an alliance to try and remove President Trump from office. It's that serious. The left-wing media is out to get him. They are out to nullify an election for the first time. America is now suffering from a massive informational crisis because I call them the destroy Trump media has routinely been exposed now agenda driven propagandist more than happy to push debunked tinfoil hat conspiracy theories Sean Hannity is currently the main leader of the resistance against the globalist outside of Trump and then of course myself uh, but I am more grassroots and you know I'm more frontline being demonized being attacked it's my job to get the intel out to take the main attack to draw the enemy fire uh, so that we understand exactly what we're dealing with. You've got the destroy Trump media that has been lying to you now, provable lies for 11 months, nonstop. Trump, Russia, collusion. No evidence whatsoever. The Russians, in my opinion, could not have known how best to weaponize that information unless they had been guided. And they began to have some of their allies within the uh, internet world like Infowars, take out pieces and begin to say the most outrageous, outlandish, absurd lies you can imagine. You, you have RT, you have Sputnik, you have Rupley, um, and then I, I think you have them feeding uh, other entities. Uh, Infowars comes to mind where those are echo chambers. The way that the left is going about trying to to demonize the president, uh, essentially justify and ignore the violence on their side, and then reinforce that with a complete, uh, uh, the imagery of death being acceptable, Kathy Griffith using the beheaded image of the president. All these things are the same way ISIS goes about radicalizing and recruiting people to become terrorists. This is unprecedented to have a president that behaves this way. Can anyone go back in history? Well, when was the last time an actor assassinated a president? It's a sad day when you cannot depend on the president's word. And you know, my advice would just be to Republicans who do cozy up to him. It's just like hugging a suicide bomber. He's not a tough guy. He's a bully and he's a bitch. He's a punk. He's a dog. He's a pig. And he can suck my f He's a con, a bullshit artist, a mutt. I'll meet him in a hotel room any other <laughs> day of the week and give him a Louisville slugger. I'd like to punch him in the face. Kiss my mother ass, you bitch punk sucker. <laughs> They're a bunch of scum that just hate America. They're all a bunch of mentally ill nobodies. Image of President Donald Trump projected on a whiteboard. Our teacher, Pale Modi, has not been There are a bunch of betas that want war. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. It's an actor dressed to look just like President Donald Trump as he's assassinated on stage. Pictures and video depicting comedian Kathy Griffin holding the bloody decapitated head of President Trump are no joking matter for the Secret Service. The rhetoric that has inspired the violence has come from the mainstream of the Democratic Party. They're involved in the coup, an active attempt to start a bloody civil war. Powerful piece. I don't know what we're going to title that, but we should post it on Facebook and YouTube right now, and everybody should get it out there. But uh, 
you know, headlines show this to everyone to stop leftist terror attacks or will the left stop their terror attacks in an attempt to overthrow Trump? I mean, you know, the deep state promotes violence and terror to stop Trump. What do we do? Because we're in a position here where they're stabbing and shooting people every day. They're promoting death and destruction. They're allied with the most orthodox, radical forms of Wahhabist Islam. They are spreading across the globe their violent attacks, not just here, but in other countries, against nationalists. They are teaching the most hardcore racist division garbage to weaponize the culture. It's incredible. The White House has put out a statement about Johnny Depp, and we'll uh, put that back up on screen if we get a chance. But this is a crescendo. This is all these big Hollywood stars, all these big rock stars that have their little you know, mentally ill followers that don't live themselves but live through them, uh, who will now go out and carry out more violence. And you notice it's intensifying as the summer arrives with massive Soros funding July 2nd for violence in the streets. White House statement, President Trump has condemned violence in all forms, and it's sad that others like Johnny Depp have not followed his lead. I hope that some of Mr. Depp's colleagues will speak out against this type of rhetoric. Well, maybe people like Kurt Russell, maybe people like Rick Linkletter, maybe people like Clint Eastwood, maybe folks like Bruce Willis, but those guys kind of come out every once in a while and just say something that makes sense about America, and then like a turtle pull their head back in. You know, I, I'm not telling Clint Eastwood what he should do, but I know he served in Korea and did a lot of other great things for this country, but and I know he's a listener. Clint Eastwood should, I mean, if he wants to fight for the country, now more than ever. I wouldn't associate with people like Tom Hanks, who needs you, not the other way around. Tom Hanks is a globalist piece of filth. It's time to stop associating with them. I wouldn't. Be part of the whole Hollywood combine. They need you, not the other way around. And I would come out and speak out about all this. And we need Kurt Russell, who I know is super smart, and I know is a listener of the show, to just come out and say, this is wrong, this is cultic, this is out of control. James Woods goes on Fox like once every two years, puts out a lot of great tweets. You can tell he's fighting for this country. We need James Woods. Always love James Woods. It's funny, like every actor I ever really liked, like Clint Eastwood, Kurt Russell, James Woods, I never really even know their politics growing up, but those were the actors I liked. I didn't like Hollywood movies. Uh, uh, Schwarzenegger, I thought his movies were okay, but you know he's a big liberal, fake conservative. Don't like Schwarzenegger. But everybody I always instinctively liked, it turned out, was a patriot. And But it's still all just make-believe. And the reason we love these actors is that we were celebrating humanity. And, and who they remind us of in our own lives. That's it. But we don't live by watching that. We live by having our own lives, our own destiny, and having wide-eyed wonderment in the universe. And not just being purely competitive creatures, but to be competitive to build a better world and to be strong and to say no to tyrants. Because most so-called competitive men join the power structure. They think that's competitive to amass more money for themselves while they sell out their own culture. Real power, real manhood, real alpha leadership is bucking the trend when it's the right thing to do and not caring what the crowd says. You think I care when Hollywood scum attack me and when a pack of liars say I'm worthless and I'm evil and I'm bad? Telling the truth to the face of tyranny is the true act of resistance. George Orwell said in a world of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. And that's so true today. So again, all of you, the InfoWars listeners, you are why they hate InfoWars. Because you are diverse, you have diverse uh, backgrounds, diverse uh, ancestry, diverse culture, diverse religion, but you know evil when you see it. You have a soul that wants to resist tyranny. And they know you are tens upon tens upon tens of millions just in the U.S., I walk down the street now in Austin, and every third person wants to shake my hand or get a photo. I walk down the street and I hear people listening to me on their phones. They'll pull earbuds out, and I'll just, and I'll be sitting next to a guy, and he goes, I'm just listening to you. And then I walk outside, and the person getting my car is listening. Imagine if they took action, if they spread links, if they started their own podcast, if they called into C-SPAN, if they, whatever the case is, if they bought some of the products. 
because only a fraction of the listeners are buying the Super Blue Fluoride Free Game Changing Colloidal Silver Iodine Toothpaste or the Embrix Essentials or X2, the good halogen that changed my life so much. Quite frankly, I got really lazy taking it because it made me lose like 35 pounds on top of the 30 I'd lost. Then I work out a lot less. So I'm starting to put a few back on because, I mean, it's just, it, it sped up my metabolic system. It, it's such a detoxifier. It, it, it's, it, most people are deficient. Most of the iodine in the environment, you don't actually absorb. This you do. It's amazing. It's very powerful, though, to consult your healthcare provider or do your own research. Survival Shield X2 at InfoWarsLife.com. Or call toll free, 888 And quite frankly, I don't know how long we'll be able to get it from this rare earth crystal source, quite frankly. And there's other stuff going on, so I might not, not even be able to. X2 might not, not exist in six months. I'm just, I don't want to say that just to sell it. I'm not. Uh, I don't know if, if, if X2, quite frankly, is going to be available. It's just going to be gone. We can go back to the old uh, seaweed base. It's very pure, very clean, but, but not as strong. Uh, but if you want X2, it's available, InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. And your purchase, again, makes everything we do here possible. And then again, I'm wearing this T-shirt today. I thought because the Civil War pretty much started, I ought to just put on you know, combat gear here, metaphysically, but also just to note that that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Towards Washington, with the wreaths around him, honoring our great founder. All he did is an example against tyranny. Then Infowars.com over the heart and on the back. My free speech doesn't end when you get offended. Infowars.com. So I believe this is the most important shirt we've got. And we don't even hardly sell it, uh, but it's got really uh, high quality fabric. That's why it costs a little bit more. Uh, and uh, I, I believe this is a shirt everyone needs. We'll be back. Please spread the word. It is an Infowar, and you are the key to it all. Second hour straight ahead. Please support our local affiliates.